up everybody welcome to the produce market it is your boy snipe young and today i'm gonna do a simple demonstration of how to export your um sounds from machine um into studio one or whatever doll you decide to use but of course i use studio one pro three and uh it will be a simple way to do it it's actually faster than the way i used to do it i used to do it um exporting it i mean routing it through my channels on the input output situations through the it was a long process and my buddy Justin Myrax was like yeah that's one way to do it he didn't tell me it was it would be quicker to just go this the other route but I was doing this when I was going to output and changing the group and ex, external one and changing sending this to the channels and going back and then recording it all in and I was doing all that it was cool because it made it feel like a hardware um, tracking process or whatever but I started doing a lot of tracks um, for a project and I noticed that there was a time that I needed there was time that I needed on doing something else so I was spending more time trying to get the files out of the machine instead of just keeping the workflow going so what I decided to do was just try another route and this route has actually been more efficient for me so I wanted to show you guys because I've seen a lot of people asking about that so um, I'll just do a simple Let's see. Okay, so I just do a simple, a little simple loop. Um, let me start it at the one because I know it's gonna take forever to come back around. Here we go. to our keyboard mode right now we're in pad mode click on your keyboard mode here or if you have the machine studio or whatever or the, the actual hardware you would just hit the pad mode button and it would change it over the shift pad mode and it would change it over to the keyboard mode if you look up here on the screen you'll see it but for sake the sake of the viewer I would just do it on the screen so you can see it but all of these icons and everything are, are parallel to the hardware so you can use whatever you're using on them with the mouse you can do it with the with the um, buttons and the shortcuts on the on the machine Either, even if it's the studio the just the mk2 or the micro um, but anyway I want to go ahead and dump these out say for instance I wanted to do um, it's just random I don't know um, find something I'll show you an example of why this is important to me Okay, say for instance, I want to use that loop. I drag that loop in. The machine is still playing, but now I want to do, I want to go through something else. So if I want to do. So if I got that going, now I have all the drums I need, but I don't have time to go in and put all of that routing and all that together. So what I do is I just go hit the keyboard button here, and the easiest way to to figure out what's on each channel is if you be able you you, you zoom in to where you can see the bars one through nine or one however long the pattern length is. And you hit the sound, and of course I have something there, so I just grab this, 
the one on the far right, and I drag it in. Now I'm exporting the audio. I could have done MIDI, but that's like, mm, it's, it's going to give me the middle MIDI files, and it's going to give me another step I have to do. And so I'm just doing the MIDI, the audio because I just want the audio out of here. I've already dealt with MIDI over here. I want to go and transfer it to audio so I can have a, 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 a easier way to edit over here. I can have it pretty much tracked out the way I want it over here. So what am I doing? I'm doing now is I'm going and what I'm doing now is going and checking all of the sounds to make sure I get everything I need out and just dragging them out individually like this. Now I could have done this while it's playing. <laughs> The reason why I stop it is because when I drag it out, now now when I drag it out, it's gonna stop the music. So, see, right? Okay. So I don't. I do it sometimes. I do it. I definitely want to keep the, the song songwriting process going. If somebody's in the room, work with me. I'll go ahead and drag them out that way. Or if I want to keep the vibe going, I'll just drag them out and let that little pause just be there it doesn't matter it does it's not gonna hurt anything but um that's why i stopped it to do it because i didn't want to do all that while you guys were listening but if you noticed when i drug over the, the audio from the pad view it gave me the entire kit so if i wanted to do mixing over here and mix the kit in machine i could do that and just drag the audio like this and it will be the full now that's all of the drums on one channel on a, on a two track but for the sake of having things available in the future I just I drag them out separately so I could go in and, and, and work what I want to work with them so I drag them out like so and it depends on how long how many songs I mean how many files you have how long it, and, and that will determine how long it will take for this process and how fast your computer is or whatever um, so I'm almost done now tracking out all of them I think that's all of the sounds and you also you can check you can check and make sure you got everything like this and when you get over here you can just look at the what you have on the velocities and you can tell if anything is there I know it's nothing here because there's no velocity and so on and so forth okay now I've already exported all of the stuff I needed out of machine I just go in machine cut that machine off I have a little semi track and what I can do is now that I've done it this way I have the ability to go in and do a little editing or whatever however I want to do it That's all. That's the easiest way to do it to me. Um, it seems really quick. Uh, I mean, but it's, it's self-explanatory. You can export it, and, and, and the reason why you want it tracked out this way because you can go in and you can you can decorate your sounds however you want to do. You want to go in and, and and cut some stuff out of the low end here. You want to roll some low out. It's only gonna affect the, the sound. So you can mix it, you know. Yeah, so that's the, that's the reason why I do it like that, so I can I can control each individual sound. If I want to make the sound mono, if I want the snare mono, I can just hit the mono tab here. It's, 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 it's endless possibilities. You want to mix it. Do stuff like dragging them over. Simple little stuff. I have these possibilities now because I did it in that way. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit like. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want to do. Let me know what you want to hear. And I'll do it for you. Once again, Snipe Young signing out.